I was eight years old when I peeked under the bed of my nanny. Now, both of my parents uh, are in the medical profession, and back then, they were rarely home, so a live-in nanny was hired to take care of my sisters and I. Now, back then as a kid, eight years old, I loved comic books, and uh, earlier that day, I remember I was watching cartoons, and I had seen our nanny reading what I thought was a comic book. So later, I asked her to read the comic book too, and she said that it wasn't for me. So I promptly waited for her to leave the house, and then I did what any other eight-year-old would do. At least I think that's what they would do. I sneaked into her room in my quest to find this comic book, which I presumed would be filled with adventures to spark my imaginative mind. I found it under her bed, and what I saw within the pages of that comic book changed my life forever. Illustrated in the very same style of many of the comics that I loved, was an extremely lewd scene. And the plot, I remember it clearly, was a son bringing his wife to be home to meet his father. And all the father could think about was how sexy his daughter-in-law to be looked and what good taste his son had in women physically. Until today, I remember the ogling eyes, the exaggerated, salivating, and overall lascivious look of the father. And his daughter-in-law's body was, of course, exaggerated as well. Now, in the plot of this story, as soon as the son left the house on some errand conjured up by his conniving father, the old man promptly pounced on his daughter-in-law-to-be, and they began to have sex. Now, everything was there. There was oral sex, there was anal sex, you name it, it was in there. And as for whether this was a consensual story or not, I was too young to tell. Now, I don't remember if I had an erection back then, but I do remember that an incredible energy just rushed through my body. And I know now that it was one of the first chemical highs that I had ever experienced. And every day after that, I would sneak back into my nanny's room to get that explicit taboo feeling. One day, the comic book disappeared. But that was no problem for an eight-year-old with an active imagination. It lived on in my memory. As I said earlier, my young mind was never the same after that. By the age of 14, I was a full-blown porn addict, along with a few other issues which I best covered in another video. The three biggest impacts these had on my life were shame, social anxiety, and low self-esteem. Each of these stunted my development as a healthy adolescent. Shame led to depression and occasional suicidal thoughts. Social anxiety caused me to isolate myself more and more and I began to comfort myself with this belief that I was an introvert. Low self-esteem led me to hate myself, my life, my genetics, my parents' financial situation, their choices, and much more. Eventually, my grades all the way through college were terrible, and I was unable to finish any serious self-improvement task that I set out to accomplish. Like, build up my body? <laughs> I failed at that. Start a business? That was a huge fail. I failed several times. Um, lose my virginity, that was probably my biggest fail in my early 20s. You know, getting a gulf was something hilarious to think about back then. See, I didn't believe for one moment that I was worthy of love. Not to mention, I was pretty creepy because I spent more time sneaking looks at pretty girls purely so I could commit their faces and bodies to memory to masturbate to later. That was my life. And up till the age of 23, um, it was a sad mess. I'm fully recovered now. But you know what's really sad? The fact that thousands of men still live like I do to some degree or the other. And the worst part is that many of these men are over the age of 25 and they've managed to get into relationships, they've managed to get jobs and build their businesses, but the rest of their lives are a silent disaster. Now I've been asked many times, JK, all your information, your videos, your courses, everything is awesome and it's obvious that you know your stuff. But what is your system? What exactly helps your clients quit porn permanently? Well, I finally got tired of getting these questions, so I called up my former clients who've been off porn for a minimum of two years, and I interviewed them. And I asked them what they thought helped them quit porn for good after years of addiction. By the time I was done, I knew that the information that I had on my hands was gold. In fact, I gained a ton of new knowledge from these calls so I'm hosting a live webinar this week 
to talk about some of the things that I learned from these men. And um, I really suck at naming things, so I'm just going to straight up give it a super salesy title. It's called The Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. This is a simple 45 minutes, one hour live training where I shared seven most impactful things that all these clients believed that helped them quit their porn addiction. Each of them told me uh, some variation of the statement, you know, JK, if not for this one thing, I would never have quit. And some of these things were things that I taught them as their coach, and others were expansions or modifications of skills that learned from me. And quite a few of them were ideas which were absolutely new to me. So that was very fascinating. So this webinar is going to help you move from self-doubt about your recovery to unquestionable confidence. You don't need to go like, well, am I ever going to quit this ever again? It's going to take you from social isolation to being the person everyone hopes will show up at the party. And it's going to help you let go of your shame and guilt and teach you how to become a man who walks through his world without excuses for who he is, what he desires, or his past. Now seriously, don't email me or message me later or, or put anything in the comments and say, you know what, I missed the webinar and, and the replay is there recording, okay? So register using the link in the description below. And for those of you in this club, in the, you know, I, I don't have the attention span for a 45 minute to one hour webinar club. Now, don't screw this up. Listen, I love you guys, but this is gold. And if you can block off one hour, turn off your phone and keep only one tab open, you just might change your life. So register using the link in the description below. Also, if you are single with a deep need for intimacy with a woman, or if you're in a relationship, but you've lost that desire for your partner, or you feel that the grass is greener on the other side, maybe you're a very successful person, you've accomplished a lot, but you don't feel motivated to take it to the next level, then this webinar is gonna greatly benefit you as well. I interviewed over 70 men, and they are from all backgrounds. Again, the criteria for these past clients of mine to be interviewed was that they had to have been off porn for two years with no relapses while leading successful lives, the lives they wanted. I'll see you at the webinar.